Fresh off the press, Raspberry Pi 4, 8 gigabyte variant, finally here. And I'm gonna tell you why that's, that's cool, but also why that's actually not that big of a deal. So if you're like me, you woke up this morning with a big announcement from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. The Raspberry Pi 4 8 gigabyte is finally here. Now this isn't too big of a surprise. If anything, the surprise is why it took so long. If you remember back when the Raspberry Pi first came out, the 4, um, they actually wrote on the manual there's an 8 gigabyte variant, which everyone was like, where is it? When is it coming? What's going on? And it was kind of hush hush for a really long time. And because of COVID-19 and RAM prices fluctuating so much, it's taken this long to finally get it. Now, uh, what they also did that not a lot of people have noticed is they, they're slowly getting rid of the one gigabyte version and then moving the two gigabyte version as the base model, the four gigabyte in the middle, and the eight gigabyte as the high end. Now, this thing is gonna have a big price tag of $75, which is quite a leap from $35, considering you're getting the same CPU, the same GPU, USB 3.0, you're getting the same gigabyte Ethernet, all that stuff is all the same. So unless you're running this as like a desktop replacement, you're running multiple programs, multiple tabs, things like that, you're really not gonna be able to take advantage of this additional RAM. Um, the other thing you might be using this as is some sort of network device or network storage, and yes, then you could take advantage of this extra RAM, but most people on my channel are not using it for that, they're using it for emulation. And emulation is bottlenecked by the CPU and GPU combination. So. In case you're wondering, yes. The other thing that a lot of people need to, you know, that aren't aware of or maybe, you know, uh, don't know about 64 bit. Now that if you do upgrade to the eight gigabyte version of the Raspberry Pi 4, you're going to need to use a 64 bit OS. With this announcement, though, Raspbian has been renamed to the Raspberry Pi uh, operating system, and there is plans of releasing a 64 version of that but including there's already two operating systems you can use now ubuntu and gen 2 which will take advantage of that eight gigabytes of ram if you are interested in getting the new raspberry pi operating system there is a beta version but as you can see there's already some known issues and i'm sure they're going to find more but it could be fun to tinker around with this and get it up and running so besides that larger chip up memory the other thing is there were some modules moved around the board to fit such a large piece of ram but none of that will affect the performance other than the ram itself just a little remodeling if you have a raspberry pi 4 case don't worry all cases like 99 percent of cases will still fit the raspberry pi 4. so if you already purchased a 20 50 case and you're like oh man don't worry about that either because this will fit on those cases no problem so it's cool because the Raspberry Pi is evolving and getting more powerful. That, I can't argue, that's a great point. For everyone else saying, oof, I just bought the four gigabyte version, you're, you know, <laughs> it's all good. You've made the right decision. You're still gonna be able to, you know, take advantage of a lot of things that the, the 3B plus couldn't do to the four. The four, four gigabyte to the eight gigabyte, again, it's just the RAM. Don't get too twisted and crazy. Uh, it's, 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 not going to be mind blowing to say the least. But uh, that's what I think, let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.